Insurance Bureau of Canada wants you to know it's important to learn about the weather emergencies most likely to occur in your area. Hurricanes occasionally hit eastern Canada, usually between June and November. A hurricane can be hundreds of kilometers wide with severe rain and destructive winds from 120 kilometers per hour to over 250 kilometers per hour. Even the outer bands of a hurricane, which are weaker, can cause considerable damage. How do you prepare for such a potentially catastrophic event? Insurance Bureau of Canada has some advice on how to keep your family safe. And if the unthinkable does happen, IBC suggests that taking simple steps now can make it easier to get your life back together after a hurricane blows through your area. As hurricanes develop over the ocean, they can often be predicted one and even two days before landfall. Stay informed. Radio, television and the internet are abuzz with warnings and advisories. In Canada, the Hurricane Centre will issue and update information whenever hurricanes arise. If you live near water, check marine forecasts before going boating and listen to weather reports while on the water. And on the coast, be aware that the storm surge from a hurricane can cause severe flooding. If possible, move inland and to higher ground. Be ready to evacuate if officials advise it. Remember to bring a copy of your insurance policy and the contact information for your insurance representative. If you're at home, try your best to secure anything on your property that might be torn loose or blown around. Every situation is different and may require different strategies. The Government of Canada offers more detailed advice on surviving hurricanes at getprepared.gc.ca. Insurance Bureau of Canada urges you to put together an emergency preparedness kit. It should help you and your family get by without heat or electricity for at least 72 hours. It's simple and easy to assemble. Using a spare backpack, a duffel bag, or a simple cardboard box, you can begin by packing it with these 10 basic items. Bottled water, 2 liters per person per day. Non-perishable food, such as canned goods or freeze-dried food. A hand-cranked can opener. A first aid kit. Flashlight and spare batteries. A portable radio, either a wind-up or battery-powered model. And remember, extra batteries. Special needs items, such as prescription medications and infant formula. An extra set of keys for both your car and your home. Some cash. And contact information for friends and family, as well as a copy of your emergency plan. Be sure to add anything else that is important to your family. Make photocopies of important documents, such as your insurance policy, passports, birth certificates, and other paperwork, including the contact information for your insurance representative. It is also a smart idea to make a home inventory list, and maybe photos too, of all that you hold near and dear. A good home inventory will also include the replacement costs of all your valuable possessions. Visit us at ibc.ca. Insurance Bureau of Canada has an easy-to-use template to help you create your home inventory, as well as more details on emergency planning. In the aftermath of a hurricane, do not be a disaster tourist. Let emergency crews do their work. If you must go outside, look out for downed power lines or other dangerous debris. The copies of your important documents and your home inventory should, of course, be kept in a safe place, a safety deposit box, or at a friend's or relative's house, someone who lives in an area that's unlikely to be affected by the same major weather event. Keeping copies online will also make them always available. We strongly recommend you contact your insurance representative to make certain you understand the details of your insurance coverage before an emergency event. Insurance Bureau of Canada is proud to provide important information on emergency preparedness to help you protect yourself 
your loved ones, and your property. Please visit us at ibc.ca.